I'm here in the studio with Lori from Backstage Theater in Breckenridge. And Lori, tell us what's going on. We got we just finished up Oliver, and you guys did great with that, which is absolutely amazing. The next one is the spookiest show ever. Yay! Called Woman Scary in things. Black. Okay. And the plot basically is: there are those who believe the whole town is cursed, but the house in the marsh is by far the worst. What okay, she like wants that. is unknown. But she always comes back. The specter of darkness, the woman in black. Love that. So it's a very scary thing. Yeah. You will inhale at the beginning of the first act and exhale at the end of act two. And it opens Friday with a special. It, it's a sh special champagne opening. That's exciting. So doors open at six. Uh, the show starts at seven. There's free champagne, all you can drink and mix and mingle with the production staff uh, and the board members. And it's usually a lot of fun. And then it also plays Saturday uh, at regular rates, and it's just a bargain of 22 bucks for adults and $17 for students. And there's a little ticket surcharge in there to cover our ticketing system. And how do we go about getting tickets? You go to the website. Okay. It's backstagetheater.org, and you can zero in and pick out your very own seat, uh, figure out what shows you want to do. But it play basically plays uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday through the end of uh, January. And then comes a show that uh, we've actually commissioned to write ourselves called The Tenth. It's about the Tenth Mountain Division, so a lot of local history. This is the first of a four-play ski cycle about really how the ski areas came to be and how the Tenth Mountain Division at Camp Hale brought a lot of people over here. And we just had a reading two weeks ago where they had all kinds of actors come in from all over the country and really workshop it. And at the end, they had a reading. So it was very, it was very gripping and very much tells a very personal story about the guys who created the ski hills and really where they came from and how hard World War II was on them. Right. That's so great. That's a great feeling of, you know, your local history and feel like you're a part of it. So that's Absolutely. amazing to go and see. And when does that show? That starts in February. Okay, so the February. first weekend of February, it'll be the world premiere because it's being written and worked on right now. And it'll play through the entire month of February. The following year, there'll be the next one in the ski cycle, more about the Breckenridge in the 80s. Very cool. If you like the 80s. Yeah, so we got, well, yeah, the 80s is kind of like your start of all that ski yeah. phenomenon. So we got Woman in Black coming on, and then we're going into that in February. Absolutely. We also have a show on New Year's Eve. Yes, What's we have a that? New Year's Eve ski movie. Yay. If you're into big mountain skiing, which is climbing out in the nowhere, and working your way down. There's an amazing documentary called Rise that plays at 6.30 on New Year's Eve. Uh, we have a free keg of beer sponsored by the Breckenridge <laughs> Brewery. Yay! Yeah. And uh, as always, you can bring things into the house. So get your beer, come in. There's a cartoon short ahead of time. And I have to say this very carefully because it's really bad if you get it wrong. It's Big Buck Bunny. Big Buck, buck Bunny. bunny. <laughs> yeah. So don't say it fast and don't put any after yes. there. <laughs> That's very cool. I didn't know that. So you could bring your own food as well into the yeah. theater. But you guys also serve food. We also, we also have a full concession stand. Um, three bucks for a box of Milk Duds instead of ten like at the theater. I love Milk Duds. My yeah. favorite. <laughs> so we've got all those good things. And you can, you can munch on those. And Rise, Rise is not released to the general public. It's not available on Netflix. You can't download it. So it's specific you have to get it. here. It's it? specific here. It's on the festival circuit. So if you it run, won some awards in Denmark and in, I think, Copenhagen and a couple other places. So it's a pretty good film. International um, as well, I like that. International, but if you've ever thought about, let me climb up there and ski all the way down. It'll give you that inspiration. It'll give you that inspiration, but how they get to the top of the mountain when they can't use a helicopter is just, is stronger than I am. <laughs> stronger so, than me too. It's like, okay, I'm going to ski and I'm going to ski hard yeah. all year. I'm so. going to look for the chairlifts. <laughs> so that's fun. It and is very fun. So that's the same way you can get tickets online or you get can get them, them at the door. Get them at the door. Um, we're assuming that most folks for New Year's haven't planned ahead. So just walk up, it's 12 bucks um, at the counter, and then you can get a beer and some milk duds or whatever else you need. Very cool, and another exciting thing. Yeah. You have a renovation We have coming. a big renovation. The renovation is gonna be awesome. The town of Breckenridge has given us $1.3 million, which will get the theater expanded. We're gonna get about 40% more seats, a big lobby. But to really do all we want to do, we need about 1.8. So we're going to be fundraising like crazy, but it's going to make the building and the theater better so that, like the end of Oliver was sold out. You could not get a ticket the last week. 
Well, with 40% more seats, there's going to be an awful lot more opportunity. So you won't have that uh, major crush at the end of time going, I can't get a seat. So everyone can be a part of the culture. Everyone can be a County. part of the culture because performing arts is important. There's, we have a kids play program. We have a big local show at the Riverwalk every Labor Day. They're doing Shrek. Musical. If you like Shrek the yes. musical. That's exciting. It's going to be a cast of zillions. Um, it's some locals and some paid professionals, so you don't have to limp through it, but it'll be, it'll be lots of singing and dancing. Uh, cool. But it's, performing arts is what makes a theater vibrant. It keeps the community kind of focused, and it's part of the Breckenridge Arts District, and it's going to open up out onto a patio, and you've got all those little art buildings around there where there's a tin shop and a ceramic studio and everything else. It's going to be a very lively section of town. So support the yes, theater. support the theater. Go there and check out New Year's Eve. We got Rise or coming in January, Women Black. Once again, real quick, the website so we can find more it information. BackstageTheater.org. Very cool. Well, thank you, Lori, for joining us. Well, thank you us. so much. We'll be back with more on Summit Sunrise.